Hello students and welcome to the e-learning program initiated by Shigyan Manjri Vidyapit for the students of standard 10 in which we are learning the subject of social science. Students, today we are going to start with a new chapter, chapter number 19, which is the first chapter in the civics part of this book. Name of the chapter is human development. First, the meaning of human development or we can say the definition for human development. The process of enlarging people's freedoms and opportunities and improving their well-being is called human development. Now, when we say the word human development, that applies to a greater mass of people. It applies to population of the country, because here basically we are talking about a country. Country, that means population. Population means human beings. It is the duty of the government to care about the welfare and well-being of the people. So the process of enlarging, here enlarging means to give more and more freedom. The concept of freedom, it doesn't mean to give freedom, but the concept of freedom, enlarging that concept of freedom, giving more freedom to the people. And opportunities, enlarging the opportun opportunities so that people can develop. A simple, very simple example. In a village there is no school. In the nearby villages, no school. How do you expect a child to get education if school is absent? If the school is absent, that means parents also are uneducated because aaj ke bachcho ke liye school nahi hai to pehle kab tha and then we say development has not happened so understand this becomes the duty of the government to open up a school so that that village and the nearby village the children can get education so opportunities to deni chahiye tabhi improvement ho sakta hai tabhi development ho sakta hai so the process of enlarging people's freedom people's freedom they curtailed or restricted at many places they have their rights that is another thing but we are here we are talking about people's freedom the freedom is curtailed or curbed at certain places restricted Then suffocation to get more freedom happens and when suffocation happens, people rebel because they want more freedom. So enlarging, giving opportunities to people so that they can develop themselves. Become, you cannot ask that you become an engineer, you become a doctor, you become this, you become this. That freedom has to be enlarged according to your capacity. You become whatever you want. So he, this is the true meaning of enlarging the freedom of the people. Give them opportunities, more and more opportunities so that because human being is constantly evolving and developing. How can we develop more when opportunities to develop are given? And improving their well-being. Improving their well-being, whatever state they are in right now, we take that as place zero. From there, if we want them to improve more, then we should have a background of how much improvement has already taken place and what do we need to improve more. So, simple meaning, definition of human development, the process of enlarging people's freedom and opportunities 
and improving their well-being is called human development as per UNDP we have done this word before also let us still understand it this is United Nations Development Program. This is called UNDP, United Nations Development Program. As per UNDP, we know United Nations is an organization. It has lots of functions. It has lots of departments. So one of that is UNDP, which looks after the development of people, human beings, that is us. According to UNDP, now what is the definition of human development according to United Nations Development Program? This is a sub-organization within a bigger organization. We take uh, United Nations as an international organization, then UNDP, United Nations Development Program, is a sub-organization within that within that bigger organization development human development is a process of extending human aspirations and essential sustenance subsistence services a little bit according to words a little bit of complicated definition but still it is very very simple in a very plain language it has kept the UNDP has kept the definition as simple as possible aspirations we have dreams we have wishes we have imagination that is the meaning the process of extending human aspiration I aspire you aspire to become something I aspire to become something the human aspirations have to be extended given some way some path so to extend human aspiration and essential subsistence services subsistence we have done this word in agriculture subsistence farming the farming which is done for only survival that's called subsistence so essential subsistence to survive to stay alive human being they need something at least that much should be available to each and every human being now we have some more than 200 countries in the world some are quite developed others are developing we just keep these two categories developed nations and developing nations developed nations okay they are quite rich they have lots of money they look after their citizens very well lots of amenities are given to them utilities are given to them facilities are given to them opportunities arise in such a country where money is not a problem so those things happen over there coming to developing countries say for India people aspire a lot but then everybody doesn't get a chance because huge population is there lots of competition is there people are living in some socio-economic atmosphere which they cannot change they are brought, born and brought up in that environment, in some religious environment. People are poor, unemployed. So lots of condition, negative conditions happen in developing, condi in developing countries. So if we do not, if we are not able to give the latest facilities to them, at least the basic facilities that should be given to the people food clothing shelter education health these are called the five basic facilities that should be given by the government to the people by the society to the people so at least this subsistence for survival purpose whatever is needed if that much is given then that is also human development 
over and above giving an idea about education health and nutrition the human development also gives idea about several things now over and above that means basic cheeze ki baat to hoti hai basic cheez kya hoti hai education right health nutrition these are the basic terms in which human development is spoken about right education the level kitna hona chahiye basic education hai ki nahi hai lots of our villages do not have basic education school system also right so to develop lot of lot and lot we have to develop so that infrastructure required for primary schools pre primary schools high schools higher secondary schools then if you go to higher education then enough number of universities imparting lots and lots of variety of courses so education ki baat ho gayi then health we know the health system in india improved quite a lot but still needs lots and lots of improvement we have one doctor per thousands of people that situation has to improve so that we have lots and lots of doctors looking after the people then people's health can be looked after properly still we are facing lots of shortages of medicine primary health facilities that are established by the government but still we lack at lots of places nutrition oh quite a chunk of population is still living below poverty line where you cannot think about education where you cannot think about uh, good safe place to live in good safe water drinking water to be given to them nutritious food given to the children Uh, the government is trying to do that with the help of pds system we learn them pds system fair price shop and the government is trying to upbring these people by giving them opportunities but that is also not being sufficient of course india is quite a big country second most populous country in the world so we do face hurdles because of the population lots of other hurdles also do come across yes rains all of the country is dependent on rain monsoon season because of the agriculture most our pop- population is in the agriculture sector industrial sector jitna develop hona chahiye utna nahi hua hai right so apart from these two three things about education health and nutrition human development also means something else several things let us talk about that the term human development is used often used by agencies of media political leaders different institutions and government it has become quite a common thing kya human development kar rahe yes so in the newspapers in the news on tv political leaders yes panch saal mein ek bhi aate hain aapka development karte khud ka development karke chale jate right so different institutions government they all tell the same term go human development human development but we have to understand human development the word human development we have to understand what is human development and what work in which direction do we need to do where we are lacking first we should know where we are lacking where we are still behind others in the world right so if those things can be marked out then we can certainly develop human development is a man centered axis in the direction of development so of course when we are talking about human development who is in the center men that means human beings are in the center when we are talking about human development objective of human development is to create same condition for everybody's life so that people can lead significant and creative life according to their talent not so complicated thing right quite easy what is human development when we say human development that means whole of the mass whole of the population of the country has to be considered one equal without any differences so to create same conditions for everybody's life 
whether a person is rich, whether the person is a poor, belonging to any religion, caste, creed, gender, whatever differences, language ka hai, state ka hai, whatever, you have to put them in the same basket if you want to give them the same facilities. So, development facility hum kab de sakte hai? When we have an equal eye for everybody, when we look at everyone as equal. So, conditions for everybody's life. So that, what is the aim behind human development? The aim behind human development is to allow the people so that they can lead a significant and creative life. Significant, worthwhile, important and a creative life where they are doing something according to their talent. Maybe they don't have education but then they have certain of the talents. So those talents can be used to develop them. Uh, education ka opportunity nahi mila. Education tha to achhe job ki opportunity nahi mili. Education tha lekin achhi field mein jane ke liye paise nahi the. Opportunity nahi thi. Fail ho gaya. Is, does that mean there is a full stop over there? No. People can have lots and lots of talents. So those talents can be used to develop them. So so that people can live a very important, a very significant life. They should be proud of their living. That is when that significance comes. That I am also an important part of the society. I am also an important part of the nation. If I develop, society develops. If I develop, nation develops. So if, if that thing is in each and everyone, when can we instill those things in each and everyone? When our aim is human development and not development of a few people, not a development of a particular community, but overall development of all the people. That is when we consider them equal and that is where we create the same condition for everyone. Yes, hum city bus mein jaate hain ya asti bus mein jaate hain. Nobody asks what is your social status? What is your economical status? Nobody asks that. Consider equal. Create same conditions for everybody's life. When you take admissions in uh, government colleges, universities that give admission to government colleges, whether that's MBBS, whether that's engineering, whether that's any other stream, you get education based on your performance. Right? So, performance counts over there. So, according to your talent. Lots of words now coming more and more about human development, equality, equality stability, production and empowerment are four important pillars of human development. What are the pillars of human development? What is human development based upon? There should be pillars should be strong. Yes? Any Pachas Malaga building Manadia pillar weak hai. Nichevala Kiskado Putsapura Nijaga, right? So pillars of human development on which human development is based. There are four pillars. Which are they? First thing is equality. That is why equality is given in the constitution. Everybody is equal, right? In terms of anything. Whether it is law or anything, everybody is considered equal. Stability. Human development ek bar shuru to ho gaya, then constant nahi raha, right? Consistent nahi raha, then it, it should be stable. When development is stable, then only we can have a go ahead where we can keep on develop, uh, developing and those stages can be seen clearly. Now we want development. We want people to live in neat, clean, healthy, hygienic, hygienic atmosphere. You start from one area, don't start cleaning up the whole city. That is not development. At one go, saaf kar diya, ek bahafte baad, do mahine baad aaye to, phir pura katra. No. You start from one area. Include the people living in it. That this is for you. Then they will understand that cleanliness matters, hygiene matters. 
एक बार पूरा सिटी साफ कर दिया धीरे धीरे करके सब लोग मिलके फिर गंदा फिर साफ किया फिर गंदा फिर साफ सो एंड पीपल रियलाइज व्हाट इज बेटर दैट वन और दिस वन राइट सो ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट हैपेंस व्हेन देयर इज स्टेबिलिटी देन प्रोडक्शन इफ पीपल आर वेल एजुकेटेड दे आर टैलेंटेड दे आर स्किल्ड economic condition is quite good they have that courage to set up industries to participate as a group in setting up its different industries then people can automatically develop production will become more and more right so empowerment empowerment means giving power in the hands of that is called empowerment for example women empowerment you must have heard this phrase a lot what is women empowerment women empowerment means giving power in the hands of women laws hai hamare country mein ki village panchayat mein women sarpanch hone chahiye right that means no male can participate in that particular election that particular election time is for choosing a sarpanch who is a woman when a woman comes forward and takes charge as a sarpanch automatically the power is in the hands of woman so empowerment means giving power in the hands of then and then only development can happen sara power mere paas hi hoga aur kisi ko kuch nahi milega na that that's that's called dictatorship right no we have to distribute the power in the hands of the people empower them so that they can take their own decisions and they can implement upon their own decision decision lena to aasan hai lekin fir implement karne ke liye bhi piche backup hona chahiye right power should be backup yes sarpanch hai to sarpanch apne tarike se kaam karenge okay they take the decision and the, but then that decision is backed by the government if the sarpanch is taking the decision then she is the final authority only then that empowerment is going to work otherwise it's of no use lecture thus human development is getting an opportunity to lead a successful and creative life according to one's own taste development is happening but the field that i am in, interested in in that particular field no development is happening so the knowledge that i have the talent that i have the taste or interest that i have gets wasted because development scope for me is not possible so according to one's taste interest skill intelligence level capabilities all these things also should be taken into into consideration when we are thinking about human development now what is the old concept of human development and a very a very funny thing right earlier the nations of the world believed that human development can be evaluated only on the basis of economic growth economic growth we have studied in previous chapters also in economics that what is economic growth per capita income that means jis country ka per capita income jyada hai uska human development bhi jyada hai that was the old concept and that's really funny right the nations of the world believed, uh, believed that human development can be evaluated only on the basis of economic growth aapka economic growth jyada to aapka economic development bhi jyada human development bhi jyada lekin in all the instances this was not a perfect principle or a theory to be followed so lots of people investigated research and lots of results were found where the old concept looked to be quite wrong the way we see it if we say that us uk germany france japan they are russia they are all advanced countries don't we have poverty over there don't we have illiteracy over there is everybody happy no then human development can you say that because the, their gdp is high because the per capita income is high that is why everybody is happy no 
that is not the case so it proves that this old concept was not actually no, it is required you need money the government needs money where does the government need money how do the government when can you say that the government or that country is uh, quite high in gdp or having quite a lot of pca when the people are working when the people are making money when the people are taking uh, paying taxes then only the government becomes rich and for paying taxes they have to work somewhere so working conditions have to be increased so that lots of people get employment and lots of people get money and lots of people buy things and that is how business goes on that is how money circulation goes on everything is right but then can we say that that is the only factor to be kept in mind per capita income or gdp they thought higher the economic growth higher the human development human development is very high say in usa uk germany japan france um, many of the european countries uh, australia all these countries they are quite the gdp is quite high the economic growth is quite high so economic development is also quite high and that is why human development is also high that's a wrong belief so the country is focused on increasing economic growth and hence per capita income as a way to higher econo human development so what the countries strive for that if you want to say who is the highest country who is the country who is having the highest human development then we have to show a higher pci right so all the countries they focused on only one and thing only and only one thing that is to keep on progressing economically so more the economic growth more the economic development and hence higher human development all the nations of the world concentrated on increasing the gross national product that is gn gnp or you can say gdp so to increase their per capita income we know that the gross national product or gross domestic product put together divided by population we get per capita income so more the gross domestic uh, domestic product or gross national product you divide it with your population you get a higher figure every year so i have the, the my country has a higher gdp a higher gnp and a higher pci so human development in our country is high however even after achieving economic growth the lifestyle and quality of life of the people did not change lots of crimes were happening children were leaving school at quite a young age they never attended the college many of the children they were they became orphan or they left the homes and they were wandering here and there and took up to crime so crime rates are going high in this case can you say that human development is happening no human development is not happening so even after achieving quite a good economic growth the lifestyle and quality of the life of the people did not change yes country was considered very very rich but lifestyle of the people did not change the government was rich but then the government did not spend their money on the welfare of the people they kept the money for themselves so that is not right so the nations realized that it was incorrect to believe that human development can be achieved only only by economic growth so now people started pointing out yes you say your country is rich you say economic growth is happening your pci is one of the highest in the world but then look at other factors that are going on in the country there are lots and lots of factors that you need to look upon then how can you say that economic development just because of economic development or economic growth the pci is high then how can you say the human development is happening the new conclusion the new conclusion that they came to was that human development is not only related to income but also on how to use income so people have lots of money with them the government has lots of money with them 
goes for both of them, the people as well as the government. They have lots of money, they have earned lots of money, but how do they use the money? That is more important. This means that income should be used to for the improvement of life. Not only about individual, it is for everybody in the country. Do everybody get the same chance? No. Are everybody considered equal? No. Is everybody equal in front of law? No. So, in this way, we can see that the nations realize that only economic growth does not have any value. Apart from the income, how you are earning the income, more important is how you use your income or how you use the money with the, which is with either the government or with the people. Then that tells us income should be used for the improvement of life. Now, human development, what it means. Ability of human beings to lead successful and creative life as per their interests, abilities and wisdom. That is called human development. Creation of human capability. This has to be done separately. We have to create instances where human capabilities can be enhanced or it can be brought out. Securing equality and getting an opportunity to select among various fields. As we discussed in the uh, previous lecture, the government tells us you become a carpenter, in, you become a computer engineer or you become a doctor, then it's of no use unless the person from within wants to become it. So, securing equality and getting an opportunity to select what a person wants to be in future and which fields, which field he wants to enter, in which field does he want to excel and show his capabilities, skill, experience, everything. Men living healthy, fine, fit and long life, that is also human development. What has the government done so that it can reduce the growth rate at, at which the population is growing. For example, if we take India, then population is growing at 2% per annum. Right? That is quite high. So, what is the government? The government cannot control the population, but what is the government doing so that it can make the people aware so that population can be controlled by people themselves rather than the government trying to do it forcefully. So, men living a healthy, fine, fit and long life, what has the government done in order to make all these three, four things possible? Are there enough number of hospitals so that immediately a person can get medical attention, medical treatment and he can be cured within no time so that he stays fit and healthy and has a long life. Is the environment without pollution, does the government have enough number of laws, rules and regulations so that the environment can be kept clean? Has the government set up enough opportunities for the people where they are earning money so that they can have healthy food? Are enough conditions available where the cities, towns, villages, they are kept clean, neat, clean and hygienic so that people can have a long, healthy, fit life? So, all this also is called human development. Acquiring knowledge through information and education. Are there enough number of schools present so that 
are there enough number of schools present so that each and every child no there is no breakage of the links where so is there any proper infrastructural facilities available where enough numbers of schools colleges educational institutes are present so that not even one child is left without education they get all the educational opportunities right from kg to post graduation and after getting that education are they able to apply their education in the field where we they can earn income with the help of the knowledge and education that they have got getting opportunity for monetary benefit this relates to business this relates to jobs just we just now we discussed that after getting the education he has a bsc msc degree or he is an engineer or he is a doctor or she is a librarian or she is a technician but then do they get absorbed in the industries do get do they get enough number of jobs enough opportunities to get absorbed in the jobs so that they can have monetary be, uh, benefit are there enough number of fields available where a person can set up factory start production and start having income so getting opportunity for monetary benefit that is also human development natural resources should be available to all to improve living standard to in on order to improve the living standard that means food water clean air all these are the living standards yes enough number of houses residences available to each and every one in the nation or in the particular area which we are talking about do the people have enough amenities so that they can use them for the betterment of the life so are enough natural resources available that is available to all so that they can improve their living standards achieving qualitative lifestyle qualitative lifestyle is not living in a uh, in a very big bungalow and having 3 4 cars and lots of money to spend and all that but it means achieving qualitative life that means a person is quite satisfied with whatever he is and he has each and every opportunity to enhance his knowledge skill experience and live and lead a satisfactory life then that is qualitative life removal of squalor and improvement of health related conditions squalor dirty places are so for example slum areas etc are the slums removed but remove not in the case that you just dump them outside that slum and you clear, um, clear up the area that is not the meaning yeah, enough residences should be made so that those people who are living in the slums they can shift to those uh, houses which are built by the government and they can stay over there so that there are no slum areas you know, so squalor dirty places can be removed and improvement of health related Uh, conditions yes there are no uh, dirty unhygienic places where people have to forcefully live because enough residential areas are not available enough space is not there to make houses so people have to live forcefully in these areas yes so to remove that obtaining personal and social security there is this is having a lots and lots of important because people feel uh, should feel safe and secure in the country that they are living in ye nahi sham ke 7 baje pura jo hai khirki darwaza band pura jo hai city sunsan ho jata hai because people are very afraid of to go out after dusk yes a lots of crime in that area yes people have to worry about their safety security agar ghar se bahar gaya to wapas aayega ki nahi pata nahi so that type of situation should not that is not called human development right so obtaining personal and social security not only personal security but the society also should be safe and secure 
utilizing human rights the human rights should not be taken away the basic rights of the people should not be snatched away from them they be, should be able to enjoy it right so utilizing using the human rights obtaining individual and uh, social security this is perhaps repetition everybody should be able to enjoy equal rights the human development is related with creation and expansion of many sub such opportunities and aspects we have discussed at length lots of other things that are included in human development which earlier was not included earlier only one thing happened that the countries were in a race to increase their uh, economic growth and thus they can show more and more per capita income every year and so they remained at the top and they proved in that way that we are the highest we are having the highest pci in the world and that is why we are the country where human development has happened most but in the recent times after lots of inv thorough investigation and research people have been able to prove that these things are not followed in your country so human development is still Ha huh, human development is there but then it still requires a lots of focus on different aspects that countries were missing so we come to a conclusion that there should be a central guideline as to which are the different ways in which a country can have a very good human development so there should be some way in which all the countries they get a proper guidelines so that they can help the human development by following that particular instructions guidance or the path given by the central agency or some organization so that because governments come and go the rules are rulers they keep on changing so every new ruler he again has to set up all these things so there should be central guidelines through which governments can work and they can keep on enhancing the status of human development in their country developing countries not able to achieve economic and social development up till now we were talking about the developed countries right now we come to developing countries then developing countries because we saw that up till now what we saw is that the developed countries they, because they earned quite a lot of money and their economic growth was so speedy and so high scaling so rapidly shooting up that that pci was quite high so automatically pci is high human development is high still they lacked in lots of um, uh, aspects of human development which were at least not missing but then they were not properly developed now we come to the developing nations the developing nations they are not able to achieve first thing is economic growth because first thing these developing countries they have lots of population and the resources etc and in terms of economy in terms of infrastructural development all these areas they are still lagging quite behind many of them are quite backward in this conditions and so social development is also not happening so developing countries economic growth is not happening and social development is also not happening so what are the key areas what are these hindrances what are the problems or troubles that are confronted by these uh, developing countries human life includes peace economic social political and cultural field if we see if we look at the life of us we see these four or five points we keep on circling around these points we want peace we want economy in place we are living in a society that is made up of political uh, because the country is led by any of the political groups whatever whatever political uh, conditions are present in a con uh, in a country whatever sort of political structure is present in our country whatever and the cultural fields the culture that we have and we follow that culture so life human life revolves around these things due to indifference or disgust towards improvement 
if we take the example of india right then before we got independence we were ruled by the britishers or in the south by portuguese french that means the foreign power they did have a political setup over here they were ruling our country but along with that we had our own culture tradition religion a mix up of all that yes people speaking different languages so in difference or discuss towards improvement we strictly followed the customs and traditions which were set up since ages and we did not want changes in that because then we will have to leave that and adopt something new so we were not ready to accept change we were not ready ready to reform ourselves to bring a total change in ourselves so indifference and or disgust towards improvement low aspirations low aspirations means do not have that much high thinking or high desires i want to be this i want to be this no i get this i'm satisfied i don't have aspirations to become a doctor engineer i don't want to study higher yes i don't want to improve so low aspirations of the people this is why the uh, the developing countries because first thing is they have come up from poverty there are still countries lots of countries which are quite poor which are not having proper education right complete education system in there illiteracy is quite high and literacy is quite low right so wherever literacy is quite low what happens is knowledge nahi hota right books aajkal internet hai ye wo these are the centers where we get 